just tuning in two minutes and uh, 35 seconds uh, uh, prior to the kickoff here, and uh, neither team has uh, come onto the field yet, so I, I don't know whether they're playing a waiting game or <laughs> they were waiting each other waiting, out. Waiting each other out. Uh, now is a good time to bring up uh, our isolated player of the game tonight. It's going to be senior receiver and defensive back, uh, number 26, Christian Warren. Um, Christian, you know, he's coming off of a day today where he accepted an award, him and Braxton Allen yes. for Max Prep's Play of the Week. Yes. And, uh, one of the things you heard Coach Plumley mention in the coaches' show was their safeties play up sometimes, and sometimes we can take a shot over the top. And uh, Christian, along with Dallas Lewis, yeah. are big guys who go over the top. So look for Christian to have a big night tonight, and uh, if he can get free and hopefully um, put a few – touchdowns up on the board for the Leopards. Yeah, I was talking to Coach Pop, like I said earlier today, we were talking about about Lewis, uh, and he's had uh, four, two touchdowns in the last two games, four touchdowns in the last two games, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And it, it's just kind of, he was. we were going through some things about how he has improved, and, and uh, also him and Chris Warren. All of a sudden, we've got a couple of weapons out there that, uh, uh, yeah, if these safeties start crowding, we have no problem going deep because they, both these kids got really good speed. No, yeah, absolutely. And one of the things about Dallas, you know, he's a kid that he didn't grow up playing a lot. He, you know, he played last year and, right. and this year, and you can see his confidence grow week to week. And uh, he's doing nothing but getting better. He's one of those that you're going to kind of look back on. And you say, man, you know, what if he would have been a product of the system the whole time? But uh, so excited to see him having success his senior season and, uh, you know, making a, a big difference out there wide for the Leopards. Well, and it's like Coach Plumlee and I were talking that, uh, you know, he's getting better each game. Yeah. But it's not just Dallas. It's this whole bunch. It's these, it's this freshman quarterback. It's these sophomores, these juniors. They're growing up and getting better. And, uh, young men, you got a test tonight and uh, bow up because uh, it could be <laughs> it's interesting. It, it's going to be a test. Yeah, it'll be a test. Uh Jesus Rodea is teeing the ball up for the Leopards as we get ready for kickoff. Number six, uh, Hunter Smith yeah. back deep to receive for Robinson. I will go ahead and tell you some of the single-digit numbers are going to yes. be hard to read for Robinson, so if there's a delay, that's, that's yeah. my fault. Well, we are moments away as we get ready for, as Michael Chance would used to say, it's showtime. Sky kick down the right side angled, and it goes out of bounds around the 25-yard line. Yeah, to, to back up what Seth the Robinson's in white. Uh, they've got uh, gold pants and gold uh, numbers on their jerseys, and they're outlined in black, but it's uh, – very thin black. It's, it's, a, it's a thin black, and so if we uh, if we miss call one or whatever, uh, we'll just have to miss call one, and uh, Mike can help us back here. If <laughs> yeah. Pat, slap me on that. Here we go. Robinson comes to the line. They got twins right, twins left, back lined up to the left of the quarterback. I'm not sure if it's Towers or not. Here's the snap. Hand off is to the tailback. He goes up the middle, down to the 40-yard line. Nice stop there by the uh, the outside linebacker. And I was at Jabra Artis. He uh, coming off of a huge game against uh, Ashdown. His name was called multiple times last week. Yeah. Robinson hurries to the line again. Twins right, twins left. Back this time to the right of the. Here's well, the snap. Ooh, Looks like look, motion. Yeah. yeah. Wide out started a little quick on the uh, opposite side of the field, so that'll cost him five. He not only lined up offsides, then he took off. Yeah, he, not, was, he not only lined up offsides, he took off quick. That was a uh, what you call a double whammy, I believe. Yeah. Sometimes you see that when you try to hurry to the line. I believe that is Buddy Gaston at quarterback. If I'm reading that right, I, again, I could be wrong. And if I am, I apologize. Twins right, twins left, back to the right of who I believe is Gaston. Here's the snap, fakes the give, throw out on a Good quick one. screen. He's to the 40, the 35, the 50. Right. He's got room to run. The 40, the 30, the 20, 15, 10, and finally drugged down from behind by a leopard around the seven-yard line. Missed a few tackles over there between uh, our our their 45 and our 45, and uh, Kid put some really good moves on him, but uh, 
I didn't see who ran him down, Seth, but uh, I, I, somebody, one of our corners or safeties caught him right at the seven-yard line, I believe. Yeah, and the positive thing you preached there is that you didn't give up. You could have easily up. just let him go. Yeah. Uh, Robinson comes to the line. They got twins right, split left, kind of a pistol look up back on the right. Bring a man in motion. Here's the snap. Give is to the tailback running up the middle. Hit. Boy. He driving forward down inside the five yard line. Looks like about to the three run. Wasn't a whole lot there. The uh, the middle linebackers came up and uh, Leopard line did a good job there. Held him to well. He got four yards, but uh, that was a harder harder and four. Well, you know, anytime you're in a goal to go situation, it's just bend but don't break. Robinson comes to the line. Twins left split right up back off the left side. Tell back to the right of Gaston. Here's the snap. Give is the tailback working nice outside. Job, and the nice Leopards job. are all over it. They will bring him down for a loss. I will tell you right now, I'm having trouble with the Leopards numbers too. I'm, uh, gosh, we got the uh, red numbers on the black jerseys and uh, hey, orange. Orange now. I oh mean, yeah, orange. <laughs> orange numbers on the black jerseys. That's what I'm trying Colby to say. Colby Bergen, um, Treshawn Mormon, two of the guys in on that tackle. Big third down here for the Leopards. Twins right, twins left, tell back to the right of Gaston. Third and goal from the six. Here's the snap looking to throw outside, and it is overthrown. Well, nice coverage out there. Robinson looking for a hold, but they're not going to get it. As now, we, Robinson has a first decision of the night. Do you, do you take the three, or do you go for it, Ron? If I'm Robinson, I go ahead and go for it. If I'm any other team other than Robinson, I take the three. And, and just and I say that just because of, of the success that Robinson's had. But, you know, this is a big stop for the Leopards here. It's a gamble. I mean, Mo could switch here real quick with a stop, which I think we're going to get. Twins right, twins left, back to the right of Gaston. Here's the snap. He's looking to throw. Got him, man, and it is knocked away at the last nice second. second. Nice. They had, he tried to get the force the ball into Ivan Thomas. And uh, he had it for a minute. There's a leopard there. Knocked out. That's a huge, huge stop for the leopards. Give up a uh, 45, 50-yard run uh, pass play and stop them inside the 10-yard line. And uh, great job by the leopard defense. That's what you said earlier. They're just they need to quit in them. I mean, yeah. it's like, hey, we're backs against the wall now. We're, let's see what we can do. Yeah, you look at that now. That that effort to go down there and make that tackle yes. when you could have let him go. Yep. It's the difference between touchdown and not. They tried to run a little rub route there, kind of a slant off of a speed out, and just kind of ran into each other a little bit, and was nicely played by Jabra Artis. Leopards come to the line. Simmons at quarterback. We got twins left, split right. Here's the give to Caradine, looking to go to the outside. Cuts back up, and will be brought down around the seven yard line. Keith on the carodine. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at Caradine because and, and not to, because of his size. I mean, he is compact and he is strong. He's our little bowling ball. Boy, he is, and, and a lot faster than a lot of people think he is too. Leopard's a little, a little speed. Simmons got Caradine to the left. Twins left, split right, up back to the right. Try to get Robinson to jump. Now come back, make a check. We've got single coverage on our wideouts. Moves Caradine to the right side. And here's the sap. Simmons hands to Caradine. No, no right. he kept it. Kept it. Simmons kept it. And fighting for yardage down just about the 15-yard line. He's going to be about a yard short of a first and 10 and uh, maybe two yards. Yeah. Nice move by the freshman. Yeah, yeah. he's a yard short. Picked up third and one. Zone read concept. <laughs> Fake the give to Caradine. Goes to the outside. Had one man to beat. Just couldn't get by him. Third and one, twins left, split right up back to the right side. Almost get a man to jump for Robinson, but not quite. Simmons gets the play from Coach Plumley. Caradine moves to the right side of Simmons. Here's the snap. Simmons oh, runs into Caradine, and he's, he's still going to have enough and probably going to add a face, face mask. mask on it as well. So yeah. Simmons on the carry. A little bit of miscommunication between Caradine and, and Simmons as they ran into each other in the backfield, but Simmons does a nice job of getting so upfield, picking up that first down. Right side of our offensive line did a really good first job on that one in the last in the last play where uh, we've been running to to that right side. And uh, you know, the nice thing about this this is not a right-handed football team. We can go right at right or left. Yeah, no, absolutely. And right now, it's the exciting thing if you're a Leopard fan listening is. 
uh, Leopards are having success running the ball, and anytime you can do that, that will, again, kind of soften up the passing lanes to see if we can't hit them over the top eventually. Yeah, they're, they're sticking with, with single coverage on both of our wideouts. So. Twins left, split right. Asher the up back on the right side. Bud Johnson to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap. Give is to Bud looking for room on the outside. Cuts it up. Not a lot there. He's going to be hit and drop for a loss. Bud Johnson around the 30-yard line. He's brought down by JT Towers. That's going to bring up what looks to be second and 12 after a loss of two there. Yeah, Jay, they're outside line. Those are middle of the other outside linebacker Towers was on. He was up there, and there just wasn't any place for Bud to go. Twins right, split left. Asher the up back on the left side. Johnson to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap. Looking to throw, throws deep. Dallas Lewis on a fade route, and he wow. almost brings it down, but knocked away at the last second by so Ivan Thomas. Thomas. Ivan Thomas really played it well. Uh, the ball was just a little bit Ivan underthrown. Uh, Lewis had to come back for it a little bit, and it gave uh, Thomas a chance to get up there. Jump ball, but uh, Thomas had inside, inside position, was able to knock it away. Yes. But the ball was on target. It was on target, and it was, I mean, it was a fingertip knock yes, away. It was. it was very close to a big play for the Leopards. Yeah. Leopards come to the line. They got twins right, split left. Asher the up back off the left. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Rush. Got a man in his face. Now sprinting out to the right side, looking for room. Nothing there. It's just going to run out of bounds and take a loss of two or three there. Yeah, that I tell you what, that's something that you, you won't see a lot of pressure. He didn't. He didn't see anything. He didn't try to force anything, and he took what he could get and uh, come back to fight again. And instead of making, trying to throw something, force something that wasn't there, just uh, took what they gave him. Ron, I believe that was trying to set up a screen, which yeah. is why they had the big uh, push up the middle and just couldn't find the back. And like you said, tucked it, just tried to make something out of nothing. Dallas Lewis back deep to punt for the Leopards, as I cannot quite tell who's deep to receive for the Senators. Punt is away. Nice punt. And nice high punt. And it goes over the head of the Robinson return man, bounding down Good inside reach. the 20. Wow. Still rolling past the 15, all the way down to about the 12-yard line. Huge punt there by Dallas Lewis. Boy, I tell you what, when you can turn the field like that that quick, uh, that ball was hit high, long, and then it took a very, very oh, advantageous sure, sure. leopard roll when it hit the ground too so we got the 12 yard line what well, about the 11 12 yard line on the 12 yard line yeah. Seth 12 yard line starting field position for the senators 708 uh, left here in the first quarter in a 0 0 ball game tied and uh, both teams have failed to score on the first position the leopard defense did make a huge stop at the other end Gaston brings his team to the line they're in tight running a man on late they got basically tight twins, and well, here they go. They're going to break out of it. Twins to the right, split left, up back off the right, tailback to the left of Gaston. Here's the snap. Give this to the tailback, looking for room up the middle, finding a little bit, and he is finally brought down around the 17-yard line. Yeah, yeah. Robinson's doing a good job of spreading their their uh, their wideouts out and one of their backs out, and it's moving our linebackers out a little bit, and it's making a little bit of a gap there. Uh, in the middle, but uh, listen, I know these defensive coaches, and they'll fix that pretty quick. Robinson comes to the line, twins right, twins left, back to the right of Gaston. 14 on the play clock, brings a man in motion, trips now to the right. Here's the snap, look, Gaston looking to throw, got a guy across the middle, kind of a deep slant post wow. route. Caught by Nakia Davis all the way down to the 34-yard line. Boy, he was hit and hit. Was that uh, Dalen Ross that hit him? 17. 17, Nikaya yeah. Wow, Ross was there at the right time, hit him at the right time, perfectly played for a D-back, but uh, the receiver just held on to it. Robinson comes to the line, twins right, twins left, tailback to the left of Gaston. Here's the snap, hand is to the tailback, looking for room up the middle, finding a little bit, but brought down after a short gain. He get down to about the 37 yard line. Looked like come down on the bottom. That was that uh, Jabari, Jabari Artis on the bottom. Yeah, Jabra. 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 He, like I said last week, he was instrumental in that yeah. big win against Ashdown last week. All right. Here we go. A little bit of motion now again before we get set up for Robinson. They're going to have 
Three in tight on the right, one split out to the left, tail back to the left. Here's the snap, give is to the back, running to the right. Finding some room to the outside, still running. He's at the 40, the 35, and finally run out of bounds. Looks like they're going to stay around the 36-yard line after a big game. Boy, he was out there, and I tell you what, this kid's uh, pretty stout because uh, he was using that left that left stiff arm and just keeping the leopards out of, out of his feet and uh, did a good job. Once again, though, good team pursuit, and there was three or four leopards over there with, to finally get him, get him out of bounds. Twins right, twins left. It'll be Smith to the right of Gaston. Here's the snap, fakes to Smith, throws. Oh, oh had a man right there, couldn't make the play. He's off into the races. Out, out. He's to the 10, the five, and it'll be a touchdown for the Senators. Yeah, well, that was a ball that uh, could have been up intercepted going the other way. Flipped the ball, the ball flipped up in the air, and the receiver just happened to be there, and, and when he got it, he had an alley through there, and. Uh, I, I can't see that number. I'm, I'm saying that 31, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I, that, I'd be interested to see that play design because I almost had two guys run the same route. Right. And uh, we had a guy flying up to the guy who was about a yard short of that looking to make a big hit, and the ball just zooms right by his head. And like Ron said, could have been a – just as easily been a pick six, but he had his eyes set on the other man. The other man, yeah. As it will be an extra point tip for us I, – I, Isaiah Garcia. Hit the goal post, uh, wide left in the goal post. 5.23 left here in the first quarter. The Leopards are trailing Robinson, six to nothing. We'll be right back. We welcome you back to David Alpey Field at Claude Mann Stadium. If you're just joining us, the Senators just scored to take a 6-0 lead on the Leopards with 5.23 left in the first quarter as they now get set to kick off to the Leopards. Leopards have Jacoby Hart, said Simmons deep, but we are transitioning into what looks like a hands team situation to prepare for an onside kick. Coaches saw something. <clears throat> moved down, moved the second line up. They're still up there close. Now dropping Simmons back a little bit with Hart and moving uh, Carter Martin over, I believe. Kick goes right over Martin's head, fielded by Simmons, and he fair catches it right there at the 22-yard line. So the Leopards will take over from there, first and 10 from the 22. Now's the time that the Leopards need to put, put some first downs. To get that. We have proven we can move the ball on this bunch. The difference is we're starting at our 21 instead of at our four or five. It yeah. opened, as you know, as a coach, you know that opens up the playbook a little bit more when you get out of the, you know, the shadow of your own goal. And uh, so it, it gives you a little bit, you know, more of a place to choose from that you feel comfortable with. No, that, that absolutely opens the playbook up a lot. Leopards will come to the line. Asher stacked off of the right side, split to the left. Here's the snap. Give is up the two. middle believe it's Bud Johnson as he will be brought down around the 21, 22 yard line. Bud Johnson on the well, I tell you what, <laughs> down by I was calling Williams the wrong kid. Uh, our lead back through is coming off now. And I can't get his number. Asher, yeah. Malachi Asher. Asher. Asher took a fake and I mean, he was through there and, and uh, I, I thought he had the ball there for a minute. All right, Leopards come to the line, second and 10 going to be trip or twins right split left bud johnson to the right of simmons here's the snap give is to johnson up the middle looking for room to run he will get down to about the 24 yard line that'll bring up third and long eight that's a tough four yard four or five yards to pick up but uh we'll bring up third down and eight for the Leopards. I know you're right. <clears throat> the uh, I'm looking at the safeties. The safeties are crowding. I mean, they're they're of course they're they're big and they're fast, but boy, they are crowding. They're playing downhill. Yeah, Leopards. they're playing down and they're they're walking up too. Third and eight from the 24. We got trips right, split left. Looks like Jacoby Hart to the left of Simmons. Simmons Comes looking to, to throw. Yep. Gonna have to avoid a man. Does so initially. Now still running around all the way back close to the goal line. Still looking for men to run. Now finally just going to tuck it and get out of bounds 
after a gain of all of that, after about a gain of one or two yards. Yeah, it all started uh, from, from, from the leopard left from the Robinson right. They walked a safety up and they had a safety blitz on and uh, that safety came through untouched. And I'll uh, tell you what, Simmons did, did an outstanding job of not getting sacked for a big loss and actually picked up uh, three get three yards on the play. Fourth and six, Leopards come to the line, trips to the left, tw split to the right. Try to draw Robinson off sides, no going, and it will be a timeout by Coach Plumley. We'll take it with him with 3.52 left in the first quarter. Robinson leads Malvern six to nothing. <laughs> Welcome to Larry's. Hey guys, my name is Garrett, and I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! And we apologize for cutting off Larry's pizza, but Dallas Lewis is on to punt. As the Leopards oh, facing no. a four to six snap is over the head. Lewis back to the goal line, picks it up, looking to get back out of the end zone. He's going to be able to do so, but only get the ball back out to about the seven or eight yard line where Robinson is going to take over with tremendous starting field yeah, position. Yeah, that's, that's really a tough break because the last time we stopped Robinson down on that first series of theirs, the Dallas completely the turned the, the field over with the 65, the probably six, by the roll, close to 70-yard punt. And uh, had a chance, you know, hopefully to do the same thing, but uh, the ball flew. And Dallas is a little over six foot, so, I mean, the ball was pretty high, and he jumped high to get and couldn't get a hand on it. Oh, he did well to, to save a, a you know, non-touchdown and non-safety there. Unfortunately, Robinson still gets good starting position. As they have twins right, twins left, but he's sending a man in motion for trips. Look like an early movement, but not yeah. going to be called. The man in motion going to run a quick little slant. Not slant, but out route. He's caught it, and it will be a touchdown for the Senators. Yeah. To Ivan Thomas for the Robinson touchdown. Again, when you look back on Wednesday night, watch the uh, – the slot receiver appeared to me to move just a slight bit early, uh, but sometimes those can be missed. As Robinson looks like they're gonna keep the offense on the field to go for the two point conversion. They're in tight, got a packed backfield here. Here's the snap, Gaston hands off to the tailback up the middle and he will walk into the end zone and with 3.39 left in the first quarter, your score will be Robinson 14, Malvern zero. We'll be back after this. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-95. Five, nine. We welcome you back to David Alpe Field at Claude Mann Stadium. 3.39 left in the first quarter. Senators leading the Leopards 14 to nothing. Yeah, we kind of wonder, uh, the last kickoff was almost an exaggerated pooch kick or something. They kicked it down to about our 28, 29 yard line and we fair caught it, so. Again, I think it, Robinson sends out this bunch formation, which they've probably kicked an onside kick out of before. Yeah. So Malvern responds by kind of sending the hands team. And then Jacoby Hart and now Sed Simmons mm. drops back deep to receive for the Leopards. Gibbs Kell will, will be Gibbs Kell yeah. teeing the ball up for the Senators. Leopard. And here's the kick, high, bounding down to around the 25-yard line, and it will roll out of bounds and draw the flag. Uh, big play there, and nice result for the Leopards. Yeah, it uh, kick goes out of bounds. obviously Robinson's seen the speed of our, of our receiver, receivers back there, and, and they really don't want to get, you know, they're playing cautious, not 
not giving them a chance to break anything loose. Ron, believe it or not, that's our ninth grade quarterback they're kicking at right now. Yeah. As the Leopards get ready to start with their best field position of the night, 35-yard line will have first and 10. As it looks like Braxton Allen Braxton. will get his first series of the game. He's going to have trips to the right, split left, Caradine to his left. Here's the snap. Give us the Caradine looking to run to the outside. Got a little bit of room, and he falls forward. And they're going to add another 15 on that. Seven, uh, who is uh, P.J. Towers, looked like got a hold of Caradine's face mask as he went down. He was brought down at the 41 yard line. Yeah. yeah. And like Ron mentioned, it will add another 15 to that. And yeah, it's kind of uncalled for. Of course, kids are playing and everything. The kid was behind behind him and uh, was reaching up there, and it happens. You start grabbing for something, and the first thing you know, you've got a hold of a face mask, and by the time you realize it, it's too late. It wasn't a fl flagrant. It's going to be 15 yards, but it wasn't flagrant. Flag <laughs> Say that for me. <laughs> flagrant. Thank yeah, I don't, I don't think he, you know, intentionally no. did it by no. any means. Just sometimes football happens. Well, look from up here. That Robinson defensive line is big, aren't they? They are. Malvern comes back to the line. Allen will have that tight trips to the right, split to the left. Caradine will be to the left of Allen. Here's the snap. Allen looking to throw. Pop screen to Malik Relliford. Working, having a little bit of room out over the 40 and down to about the 38-yard line. Yeah, Braxton did a great job. Just backed up, fired the ball out there where, where the ball had to be, and the receiver better be there because that's where the ball was going. Nice play. Yeah, nice job by Malik Relliford to, uh, to get upfield and get those positive yardage. Good forward pad lean. Leopards will stay in the same formation. That tight triangle trips off to the right. Dallas Lewis split out to the left. Caradine, for the moment, lined up to the left of Allen. Now he shifts to the right. Here's the snap Allen gives to Caradine, looking for room off Bounce. the left side, bouncing, and he's going to get about one yard there, down to about the 37. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Caradine kept his feet going, and that was one of those situations of Keith had to have kept his feet going to power and he's pads forward he was facing a two or three yard loss and ended up gaining a yard yard and a half brings up a big third down for the leopards here 215 left in the first quarter the leopards trailing 14 to nothing in a fast moving first quarter absolutely we have split right split left tied in with malachi asher off the right side give is to jacoby hart looking for room Pumble. ball pops out it's bounding around 30 yard line picked up by robinson there and knocked out of bounds around the 37 yard line and Robinson will take over from there. That hurts, Ron. You, you know, you got two downs to try to pick up that first down. And, yeah. You know, just trying to kind of knock a little bit off of that there with Hart and somebody just comes right up, puts a helmet on the football and pops it out. Yeah, the Leopards, the, the Leopards so far have kind of been their own worst enemy on, on, on their drives, so. When you watch this back on uh, Wednesday night as well, there is kind of a smoke, almost like somebody's burning something, which doesn't make it any easier to see numbers out there. Yeah, I, I thought my glasses were dirty, thanks. I, oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's haze or fog it's, or something. It's nasty out there. Gaston brings his team to the line, having a man run early, or run on late, I mean. That will be Derek Alexander, Derek. the tailback to the right. Twins right, twins left. Brings the man in motion, but before that can happen, Robinson doesn't like it, and they're going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them with 1.57 yeah. left in the first quarter. Robinson leading 14-0. We welcome you back to David Alpey Field at Claude Mann Stadium. 157 left in the first quarter. Senators leading the Leopards 14 to nothing as they take over after a Malvern turnover around the 38-yard line. Yeah, the Malvern, the Leopards, we've kind of shot ourselves in the foot a couple times. The, the last touchdown was a, I'll get back to that later. Here we go. Twins right, twins left. Uh, Alexander to the left or to the right of Gaston brings a man in motion. Pitches Little team. jet sweep action there to KJ Merriweather as he's looking for room to run to the outside. Brought down just across the 40, probably down to about the 42 yard line. 
Nice pursuit by the Leopards on the on the complete left Coach side. Linebackers, on the carry. defensive end, the whole bunch of them are out He's there. Down by East and West, Malik Relaford. Robinson hurries to the line. They're going to have trips to the right, split left, tail back to the right, right of Gaston. They got 12 on the field right now as they're having to run somebody off late. And here's the snap, fakes the give, pop screen out there, looking for room to run, still moving forward, going to be close to the sticks. Think he's going to be a little short, probably around 47-yard line. And that'll bring up third, third and one. Third and, and a long and a short one, Daniel looks like. Malik Relaford made the tackle. Same formation for Robinson. They got trips out to the right, split left, tail back to the right of Gaston. Here's the snap. Again, same play, pop screen out there. Got room to run. Breaks one tackle down the sideline. Finally driven out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of like uh, Coach Plumley was talking about in the coaches show. You find something that's working, you work it, work it, work it till till they stop it. And that's what Robinson's done. They found this little flare plat blast that's working, and they keep going back to it, going back to it, and going, you know. Same formation, same, same fake the play, now running a man deep. Nothing really there. Going to have to throw it away and live to fight another day. Nice coverage on that one. That, one, that was the same formation they've been running that little uh, flare, plat, flare pass out to, and uh, Leopards had that one figured out and covered. Well, that, like you said, they – they have you thinking they're going to keep running it, keep running it, lull you to sleep, then try yeah, to hit you over the top. And nice job by the corners and safeties to not get lulled to sleep and have that good coverage, force that throw away. We'll bring up second 10 from the 42-yard line as Robinson will come to the line. Twins right, twins left, back to the right of Gaston. Here is the snap. Fakes the give. Gaston looks to run Damn. himself, and he is dropped Drop. in the backfield. Yeah, that's a six, seven-yard loss. Jabra Artis. Jabra Artis. Artis was play. back there. He was back there back there quick. That's a couple good plays that Jabra's pulled off. And that brought up third and gosh. They're gonna call that third and about 14, 15, 14. Well, like you said, Ron, that keep fighting mentality that respond to adversity. These leopards aren't giving up. As no. clock winding down inside 25 seconds left in this quarter. They are going to have to run a play. Twins right, twins left, back to the left of Gaston. Five on the play clock. Brings a man in motion. Here's the snap. Got a flag. It's going to be a false start. The flag on the play prior to the snap. It's going to back yeah. down, back up Robinson It'll even more. Robinson yeah. Uh, 13.7 seconds left here in the winding down the first quarter. Leopards have kind of shot themselves in the foot a couple times, but uh, trail this one 14 to zero, but have had opportunities and have proven that uh, we can move the ball against this bunch if we can just get everything uh, clicking on all cylinders. And, and uh, Well, if you don't have the snap over the head, you're looking yeah, at a seven nothing ball game You're looking at a seven right nothing now, ball so. game, you're right. Leopards playing well, as it will be third and a mile, actually third and 21. Yeah, that's quarter of a mile. Robinson will have twins right, <laughs> twins left, back to the left of Gaston. Here's the snap. He's looking to Comes throw. Oh, wow. Big, He's big, pressured big. out, running to the line. And he's he going to get off, and it is intercepted. He was, he was across the line of scrimmage, too. Jacoby Hart read his eyes, had perfect position, and makes the interception for the Leopards. Has a fumble, but goes and gets the ball well, back for his team, Ron. Okay, so they Jacoby take the – If he, he was across the line of scrimmage, so they're going to – Personal foul. Holding against the Robinson. Oh, they called holding. Called holding. Okay. Well, he was. I'm looking. I'm looking at the stakes where he threw the ball, and uh, he was about a half yard past the line of scrimmage when he let goose up. But anyway, big, big turnover for the Leopards. Not only that, but it's got us. You know, it's got a nice field position on what we've got the 34. I uh, will have one snap here. Six point three seconds, and uh, Leopards are in good shape now. Big stop. That would be a good defensive stop there. Leopards bring men in tight, kind of a power formation. Simmons, the quarterback, here's the snap. Fakes the give, now looking for room to run. Got Breaks away. a few tackles and finally drug down around the 38-yard line. And that will do it for the first quarter. Again, Senators lead the Leopards 14 to nothing. We'll be right back after this. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you 
Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Kasasa checking. Ask for free Kasasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. We welcome you back for the start of the second quarter. Senators lead the Leopards 14 to nothing. Malvern has the ball second and seven from the 38 yard line. Looking to see if they can't get something going. We got a man split out wide right, tied in and an up back to the left. Two backs in the backfield, fakes the give, looks like an option. Simmons gonna keep it himself, trying to run around and through people, but he's gonna be hit and dropped for yeah, a loss. Looks like he's going, Simmons gonna lose a couple on that when he, uh, it was an option play going, going, to, uh, going to his right and they had the pitch man covered. They had the penetration. And there really there just wasn't any place for said to go and uh, cut it back up and uh, cut the losses to a minimum, I guess would be the best way to say that. Leopards are now facing third and seven from the 37 yard line. Bring out the receiver package here. We got trips to the left, split right. Looks like it'll be Bud Johnson to the left of Simmons. Here is the snap, Simmons looking to throw. He's flushed from the pocket, rolling right. Still trying to buy time. Finally releases the ball and just a little bit Did behind little, the intended receiver. A little low and behind, but he was, did an Simmons excellent job of getting that ball out of there. And that run, I believe Simmons might have been hit late. We got a flag over there too, you're right. We'll see what that is. I have a sneaking suspicion that this is gonna be roughing the passer. Personal foul. Yeah. Personal foul, roughing the passer against Robinson. Was about a step late there on the hit on Simmons. and That's a tough throw. Simmons rolling to the right, tries to throw back across his body just a little bit behind his intended receiver. But he got it there. He did get he it there. Got it there. I mean, a little bit behind, but, uh, yeah. Shows great athletes. This kid, when he gets bigger, stronger, it's really going to be something. I mean, he's a big, pretty good-sized kid as it is now. Yeah, but. Showing very good poise. Oh, yeah. Not getting rattled by the people getting into the backfield, buying extra time for these receivers. That triangle tight trips to the left for the Leopards, split to the right. Jacoby Hart is the back with Simmons. Got a little bit of line confusion yeah. as we're playing shuffleboard here. Leopards are in uh, Senator territory. Here's a snap, Simmons gives to Hart, looking for room to run around He's the left side. Room. Got some room all the way over the 40 yard line and down to the 43 yard line. Big run by Jacoby Hart. Yeah, it was, and uh, DJ Winters come across He's from a linebacker down. start to, to finally get a hold of him and, and basically and ride him down. But uh, 37 yard line, that's a Malvern Leopard. First Another first and 10 for the Leopards. Uh, you like to see Jacoby respond from that fumble with a big oh, carry yeah, there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like it's gonna be same formation, that triangle tight trips to the left for the leopard split right, Hart to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap, Simmons looking to throw. Gonna go for Dallas oh, on the top, that's oh, gonna draw a flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Dallas was about to get some separation from yes, the he corner, did. he reached out, grabbed him and pulled him back and <laughs> he, that will draw the flag. He knew Dallas was hitting that other gear and, and uh, Dal he, was, he, was, he was gonna be gone, there wasn't anything that kid could do but, uh, and. and possibly, quite possibly, saved a touchdown because he was fixing to make some separation. You know, the thing about it, I watched him in the formation uh, when Dallas went out there, the corner came up there, and I mean, he was right there with him on the line of scrimmage and all of a sudden realized he couldn't keep with him when uh, Dallas put the move and headed for the, the pylon. Yeah, they tried to play some press coverage. Yeah. Like you said, Dallas got a pretty free release, and that's when he had to just reach out and take the penalty as the Leopards now march deep inside the center ter Senator territory down to the 22 yard line. 10.39 left in the second quarter, trailing 14 to nothing. Same formation for the Leopards, the triangle tight trips to the left, split to the right, Hart to the right of uh, Simmons. Here's the snap, hand is to Hart. He's got room Hart's to run all the room. way down to about the 12 yard line. Nice run there and also a really, really good job on the left side of the Leopard offensive line there to seal the linebackers and the tackles and the ends off and uh, give him really a lot of room to run right there. Pick up 
nine and a half, <laughs> almost 10 yards. Yeah, nice blocking out there by those receivers as yeah. well. Second down and short for the left. Same formation. That yeah. tight triangle trips to the left, split to the right, heart to the right of Simmons. Makes the play calling a lot easier too now, doesn't it? Simmons tries to draw him off sides, no going. Getting the call from Coach Plumley. Backs back up. Three on the play clock. Here's the snap. Give is to Hart. He's looking for more room to run. He's down inside the 10-yard line all the way down to the 8-yard line, and that'll be first and goal for the Leopards run. Boy, I tell you what, Hart is really – Jacoby just – he's just hard to bring down. And, and the nice thing about it, you, you've got Hart running hard down. And, and some, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of, of Caradine. We gonna fix and turn Caradine loose on him here after a while, and, and maybe you know, and it's that's a great one-two combination there. Bud Johnson as well. And then yeah, you can, definitely can't forget a Bud Johnson. No. Same formation for the Leopards this time. Jacoby Hart will be to the left Ooh. as Simmons looks to run, and he's dropped in the backfield for a big loss Jacoby on Hart. first down. Cedric Simmons on the carry. Yeah, it's JT that's Towers. He's the. the, the he plays middle linebacker. He plays what? He plays all over the field. Mass is back to the 13-yard line. Second down. <laughs> Going to be goal. down to the third or back to the 13-yard line. It'll be second and goal from there. Out. Leopards look like they're going to stay in the same formation. 15 on the play clock. Nope. Here comes a new set for the Leopards. Nine on the play clock. Going to have to hurry up. We got six. Twins to the right, split Four. left. Asher Look at the clock. up back we're, on we're, the left. We're, call timeout. And it will be a timeout there by Gosh. Coach Plumley. 9-12 left in the second quarter. Oh, Rob, Malvern oh. trailing Robinson 14 to nothing. We'll be back. <laughs> We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be, and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin in Arkansas. And we're back from David Alpe Field, Claude Mann Stadium. If you're just joining us, Leopards having their best offensive drive of the night, trailing 14 to nothing, but got it second and goal from the 13-yard line. Yeah, we had <clears throat> had a little mishap there a while ago and uh, had great penetration by uh, number seven, T.J. Towers, for the uh, Robinson Senators and uh, got through there. Through Simmons for, uh, gosh, what, about four or five-yard loss at least? Yeah, about a five-yard loss, yeah. I believe. But the other side of it is it's just second down. We got three downs to get it in. We're going to have a tight end to the right, split right, split left. Up back is Asher off the left side. Looks like it's Caradon to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. It's a fade route out to Dallas Lewis, trying to fight over the defender, but cannot do so. Pass intended for Dallas Lewis is incomplete. As the ball falls harmlessly to the ground, and that yeah. will bring up third and goal from the 13-yard line. <clears throat> well, really good cover on Dallas out there, and it was uh, the guy he had inside position on him, but he he was fast fast enough to stay with him, and uh, well, the way would have been a great play. We way, could have connected it. The way they're lined up right now, unless they move a safety over, I wouldn't be shocked to see a quick slant to Dallas. Yeah. Here. Here's the snap, give is to Caradine. He breaks one tackle in the backfield, still looking for room to run, but really nothing there. Nothing He's going to be hit and drop for a loss back to the 15-yard line. Keep Caradine on the carry. It'll be fourth and goal from He's there. The backfield. Yeah. <clears throat> See what Coach Plumley can dial up on this one. and uh, Fourth down and goal. Yeah, as much as you would uh, love to kick the field goal, we've had a – yeah, had some issues had with some extra issues. points last week, and yeah, probably smarter to keep the offense on the field here. We have trips to the right, split left, Caradon to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. Now steps up in the pocket. He could take go. Off. He He's got go. a chance, and he will Great take it into move. the end zone. Touchdown, Leopards! Big move. I tell you what. 
our, our uh, receivers did an excellent job of dragging there was man coverage dra dragging their defenders out of an area. Simmons sees it and picks it up, and, I mean, he takes off and got the speed to get there. Big, big play for the Leopards on fourth down to get it uh, within uh, eight. Hopefully drop it down to seven here. Yeah, I kept that momentum going. It yeah. Will be, will be Rodea on to kick the extra point. Hold by Carter Martin. Here is the snap, hold is down, kick is away. It's knocked up into the air, and it goes through <laughs> amazingly. Uh, that will be the old ricochet, yeah, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Leopards, <laughs> Leopards bring it to uh, 7 to 14, 8 minutes, 19 seconds. We'll be right back. At MNB, we know that every customer is different. That's why we provide one-on-one -on -one guidance from our lending professionals. Our dedicated team understands the importance of taking that next step and we offer our customers superior financial products and services. Put the strength and stability of MNB to work for you with loan structures tailored to help you make sound financial decisions. Come see what banking with a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. We welcome you back to David Alpe Field, Claude Mann Stadium. Jesus Rodea on to kick off for the Leopards. They have just responded to the Senators, drawing within a one-score game now. Senators lead the Leopards 14-7. Eight minutes and 19 seconds left Outstanding, in the first half. Outstanding drive on that. Overcoming a little bit of adversity and uh, really getting that fourth down touchdown big for the Leopards. Rodea back, set to kick off for the second time tonight. Kick is an onside onsider. kick. And we got we, oh, we got it. We got, got it. it. We right. got it. Great onside kick. Boy, you talk about a leopard a leopard bounce set that doesn't get any better than that, does it? Yeah, that Robinson was frozen waiting for that ball to go 10 yards, and Malik Relliford just streaking down the field and was Johnny on the spot. What a recovery and you gotta, you know, you've huge. got to, you got to see this Wednesday night because the first time he misses it and he looked like, oh no, and then all of a sudden it takes that leopard. That second leopard uh, tumble and comes right up into his arms. Big play for the leopards. Well, that's what you you know you're you're taught if you don't recover it to keep batting it forward till you can go get it. Yeah. And that's exactly what Relliford did. Great call by the coaching staff there. Caught the Robinson completely, completely asleep on that one. Well, looks like. Robinson will take a timeout. Time out. We'll take it with them. They lead 14 to 7, 818 left in the second quarter. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin' in Arkansas. We welcome you back to David Alpe Field, Claude Mann Stadium. If you're just joining us, Leopards just recovered an onside kick to get possession back after a huge touchdown to draw within one score of Robinson. As we Robinson. Got, I think we, uh, yeah, White Hat says let's go. Let's, here we go. Got a man split out to the right. Malik Relliford is the up back with the tight end to the left. Two backs in the backfield. Johnson and Hart, here's the snap give is to Johnson. Looking for run, cuts up. Ball comes out, uh, and it will go right to Robinson's hands. Doggone it. Absolutely heartbreaking. You got all the momentum in the world. And you can just kind of see from our angle, a guy gets in there and just yep. rips it right rips it out. out. Yeah. <laughs> And Bud, Bud's fighting. I mean, he's fighting, fighting, fighting for extra yardage and uh, had three senators around him and had one of them could get in there and pull that ball out uh, while he was still on his feet. Unfortunate break there. So, really, the senators just dodged a bullet on that one. Robinson comes to the line. They only have 10 running a man on late. They got twins right. Split left, up back to the left. Tailback in kind of a pistol formation behind Gaston. Here's the snap, fakes the give on the jet sweep. And we got a flag, and it will be a false start on Robinson. They've been awful quick on their starts. and uh, 
seen that a few times. We may, we may have had one, one of our coaches uh, remind him of that. Uh, hey, he's right there. He's right there. Back the Senators up to the 23-yard line. It'll be first and 15 from there. They come to the line. Twins left, split right, up back to the left. Tailback will stay in that pistol-like formation behind Gaston. Here's the snap. Give is to the tailback looking for room up the middle. Bounces to the outside. Got some room. Got He's some around speed. the 30, yeah. 35, 40, and steps out of bounds yeah. around the 42-yard line. It'll be a first down, That's Robinson. Really a lot of speed there shown by uh, number four, uh, Martel Nunley. Nunley. Sounds good to me. Yeah, got Robinson out of a hole there on that one. Brings it out to the 42. Twin, twins right, split left, up back to the right side, stays in the pistol. Here's a snap, Gaston give up the middle, got room to run. He's past the 45, the 40. He's trying, it's a foot race. Hart giving chase to the 15, brought down right around the 10-yard line. Nice job by Jacoby to never give up. Yeah, that's what saved us on that first series. Uh, I don't know whether it was Hart or one of them. Ran them down, and uh, we got the goal line stance and held them out, and uh, hopefully we can do the same thing. 7.42 left here in the first half. The Leopards are trailing this by one touchdown. Senators 14, Leopards 7. Senators are threatening inside the 10-yard uh, line of the Leopards. First and goal from the 10. Twins right, twins left, back to the left side of Gaston. Here's a snap. He's Wanna looking throw. to throw. Now going to take off running, and he is hit and dropped in the back. Got we ball. got a ball in the hands. And we're going to have a quick whistle, which takes away what could have very easily been a leopard touchdown. Yeah. That's yeah. one of those things where it's referee's discretion on uh, yeah. on uh, forward progress. Huh. We could have got a quick whistle like that on our end down here then, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one that you're going to go back and watch the film, and you might not be too happy if you're a Leopard fan, but sometimes the ball bounces that way mm. and you just don't get the calls. Senators come to the line, second and goal. Twins right, split left. Here's the handoff looking for room around the outside. Had him, just couldn't bring him down, and now he gets the corner, and he will take it in for the end zone. Looked like Jabral Artis had good position and just at the last second dove inside instead of staying out and gave him the corner, and that was all she wrote. Yeah, with that speed, the speed of these uh, senator backs, they don't need much. They, yeah. they uh, you know, if they get out there and get a uh, turn a corner, and uh, if you don't have a safety out there with with the right angle, uh, they can go a long ways. Doggone it. Isis Garcia. Isaias Garcia. Garcia. Here's the kick. It is away. And it is good. Yeah, With 7.08 left in the second quarter, Robinson takes a 21-7 lead. We'll be back after this. Here's the snap. Hold is down. Kick is away. And it is good. With 4.56 left in the second quarter, Robinson leads 28-7. We'll be back. back David Alpe Field at Claude Mann Stadium 456 left in this first half Senators lead the Leopards 28 to 7 looks like Keith Carradine and Cedric Simmons back deep to receive for the Leopards uh, Seth we need something good to happen here uh, if we could get some kind of we get if we get a score cut it in half and then come back and get the ball on our possession starting off the second half you know, good things can happen. And, and quite honestly, you know as well as I do, we've been our own worst enemy. I mean, you just can't give up some of the plays and the things we have to a good team like these Senators and uh, not, have, not have it cost you. Here we go. Gibbs Kell kick is away. Received at the 25-yard line there from Simmons, Ooh. and he will step out after a gain of about three down to the 29-yard line. Leopards will take over from there. Got 4.55 left on the clock, one timeout to work with. And as Ron said, if we can find a way to go down and put some points on the board here, we do receive the uh, opening kickoff for the second half. And, you know, if you put two scores right there, you're back to just a one-touchdown game. So 
Uh, can't lower your head. You got to no. keep playing and keep swinging and see what happens. <clears throat> Coach Plumley was right in the middle of them right there. Had him huddled up like a covey of quail, and he was got him straightened out. Here we go. Trips right, split left, up back off the right side. Simmons alone in the backfield, rolling right, looking to throw. Plenty time. Got a man out there. It's Dante Reed a little bit behind it, but a nice adjustment yeah, nice. by Reed to go back and make the catch on an out route. Yeah, that was nice to see because uh, actually said had enough time to roll out to his right and uh, had some time to look downfield and didn't have a lot of pressure on him, and that, that makes a lot of difference. Good route there by Dante Reed, and even better adjustment on the ball. It'll yeah. bring up second and four, ball at the 35-yard line. Trips left, split right. Bud Johnson to the right. Give is to Johnson, looking for room off the left side, and he is going to be spun around and dropped in the backfield. Looks like it's going to be a loss of two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, looking for a hole there, looking for a place to go, and uh, – Looked inside, tried to get back around the outside, but the, uh, the the defensive end was right there and didn't let him get around get around him. Big third down for the Leopards here. Third and uh, we're going to call it what? Third six. and six. Trips right, split left. Caradine to the left of Simmons. Here's the snap. Fakes the give to Caradine. Simmons will keep nothing no. going up the middle, and he will be dropped for a short loss. Going to bring up fourth and seven. It appears. As Leopard shows some sportsmanship and helps yeah. send her up. Yeah, the Senators did a good job right there of just staying home, staying home, and uh, now that they've got number 45. That's what I saw for the Senators, and I don't see a 45 on their roster, but he's out there. <laughs> he's there somewhere. Dallas yeah. Lewis back deep to or punt. Uh, Robinson sends a man back deep to receive. Can't quite see his number at this moment. No rush, Dallas's kick is away. It's gonna land around the 38 yard line, take a Malvern bounce across the 30, <laughs> all the way down to the 29 yard line, even though Christian Warren is trying to <laughs> sweep it as far as he can. Christian was trying to get it to go just as far as it would. Nonetheless, nice punt by Lewis, nice, nice job. Does flip the field. Now, you know, it becomes imperative for Malvern to find a way to get a stop here. Don't. Don't let the lead grow anymore before half and, you know, get in, make some halftime adjustments and come out and give the Senators your best shot in the second half. Yeah, because there's, there's so many things that the coaches can point out. Here, 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 we fix this, fix this, and, you know, and it's a, it's a different second half, or can be. Here's They're the moving again. Give off to the left side, cuts back up to the middle, has room to run. He will finally be dropped around the 37-yard line. As Ron said, might it's, have been a little bit early it movement, sure but looks no like call. That, it sure looks like that tailback's coming, taking off early to me. But Robinson hurries to the line. They got twins right, split left, up back off the left side. Back to the right side of Gaston. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Five-yard stick route, goes down, digs it out of the ground, and we'll have enough for the first down. Down to the 43-yard line. P.J. Hall out on the wide out, wide out just turned around and uh, dug one out of the turf. Twins left, split right, up back off the left side. Pistol formation here behind Gaston. Here's a snap give is to the tailback, looking up the middle, got lots of room to run. He's across the 45, the 40, the 35, the 30, 25, 20, 15, and finally brought down. Nice pursuit there by Dante Reed, but he's Dante down Reed to the 10-yard the the line. I couldn't see that. He's Caught him from behind. Yeah. Well, that was something Leopards really, we needed to keep him out of the end zone here. Two minutes and 12 seconds left to end this first half, uh, trailing 28 to 7. Robinson comes to the line, same formation. Twins right, split left, up back off the left. Tailback to the left of Gaston. Tries to get Malvern to jump. No go. Looks back to the sideline. Got seven on the play clock. Gonna have to hurry. Moves back to a pistol, moves up back to the right side. Here's the snap, Gaston. Give up the middle, wow. got room to run, and he will score. Big hole up through there. He... Hunter Smith, yeah, I believe, on the touchdown run. That will extend the Senators' lead to 34-7. to Looking to make it 35-7 with the extra point by Isaiah Garcia. 
Gaston will be holding. Here's the snap, kick is away. Looked wide left Looked to wide me left, and it yeah. will be no good. That will make it 34 to seven. 208 left in the first half. Senators over the Leopards. We'll be back after this. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be, and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin' in Arkansas. We welcome you back to David Alpe Field, Claude Mann Stadium. 2.08 left in the second quarter. Leopards trail the Senators 34 to seven as Malvern will have one more shot to get the ball into the end zone. Yeah, we really need something good to happen here at the end of the first half to uh, get a little good feeling, get a little momentum switch back around uh, to start the second half off. But uh, we'll see what they're gonna do. They have continually, consistently done the little Short pooch kick, look like they're gonna do it again to the other side this time, all right? Give scale kickoff, sails out of bounds around the 29 yard line. That will give the Leopards good starting field position. Reminder, they have one timeout to work with, 2.08 left on the clock. From their own 35 yard line. If you're just joining us, this has been a game of what if for the Leopards. Yeah. Many of turnovers and just Balls that didn't bounce our way of what could be a close game and uh, just got to secure the ball. Got to limit those turnovers, especially when you're playing an opponent, the quality of Robinson. Yeah, and, and uh, we give them a, a, you know, just flat give them a touchdown on the, uh, the, the punt over the punter's head. Then we come back and get an onside kick, move it down inside the 30-yard line and, and fumble it back to him. And it's just been, been some costly errors that uh, – Here's the snap, Allen on it, quarterback give is to Caradine out over the left side, looking for room to run, still fighting still for yardage. Fighting, still, still fighting, still going, still yardage. going, he's still going. Still fighting for yardage all the way down to the 40-yard line. It looked like he was going to step I'm out just, two or three times. I'm going to tell you something. Caradine really showed strength, agility, ability, and everything there. That was an outstanding run. Tiptoeing along the sideline, Stephanie, like, well, he's, somebody's going to knock him out. Does a 360, picks up another five, six, seven yards. Does a 180, picks up another five or six. I think Robinson was just ready to give up, expecting <laughs> yeah. him to just step out. Come and Caradine said, I, no, I'm not going down easy. We got split right, split left, tight in and up back off the left side. Here's the snap. Allen looking to throw, fader out to the outside. Man. That, that's, there it is. That's, that's another touchdown saving tackle by Don Robinson. Dante Reed doing his best to try to make the argument that he made the catch. Uh, I think it's a good acting I job. Think, well, it, they're, they're talking I'm about gonna it. Give, I'm going to give him an Emmy and an Oscar if he gets this one. I, I, from up here, we can't tell. Uh, Looks like they're going to Steve spot Laverne it. had the camera on him, so he, he can – yeah, they're wow. going to give it to him. Wow. Yeah. I will take it. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> I, I think – Quite honestly, the side judge over there and the back judge were not really in a position to see, you know, exactly where the ball ended up. Uh, Dante Reed did a tremendous job of bringing it He came it up in with the job. He came, he, yeah, he came immediately came up with the ball. He was he was making the argument and it worked. Same formation, split right, split left. Here's the outside. give to Caradine. Oh. Looks to go outside, bounces it back to the right. Now up the middle, down inside the ten yard line, all the way down to the nine. Leopards, a uh, minute and a half here, a minute 29, 28 here in the half. They got plenty of time uh, on the eight yard line and can get a first and 10. Are we first and goal or first and, yeah. Second and goal. Well, no, it's, it's second, second and five. Ten, second and five. Second okay, five. Yeah, there's yeah. a marker. Okay, Ball we can. on the eight. All right, we can get a first and 10. Minute and 10, clock running. Here's the snap. Braxton give to Caradine, looking for him on the left, cuts up. Looks like it'll be a hard-fought gain of one or two. That's Coach Plummer's got to decide when to use his first and ten, first use his timeout now. Well, he's dragging on, he's around. only got one. It's yeah. third down. I, you got to run this play, yeah. and if you don't get it, I say you call it before fourth down and put it all on that. 
We scored on a first depth fourth. A touchdown was on a fourth down play. Allen with the snap. Give his the carry down, looking for room to oh, run. Oh, wow. They wrap him Golly. up in the backfield. And Boy, I tell you what, number seven, T.J. Towers, who's made a lot of tackles for the Senators, shot through there and uh, – Really looked like a touchdown saving because he gets outside of Towers and uh, he had some room to go. Yeah, it was JT, I believe. Yeah. JT. JT Towers, what I call him. <laughs> TJ. TJ. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to do. Yeah, uh, it is JT. Leopards will use their last time out facing a fourth and four uh, from their own seven yard line. 22 seconds left to go in the half. We'll be back after this. <laughs> We welcome you back to David Alpey Field, Claude Mann Stadium. Leopards facing a fourth and four. Not quite a fourth and goal. They can pick up a first down. Uh, but Coach Plumley wisely uses his last time out for this fourth down play, trying to draw up something to, you know, you hope punched into the end zone. But worst case scenario, pick up the first down and see if we can't get a few more throws into the end zone and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, because the, <clears throat> the clock will stop at the, if we make the first and ten. That should give us. 15, 16 seconds, something like that, to get something else going if we don't score here. Split right, split left, tied in and up back on the left side. Here's the snap, fake the give to Caradine, slant route. Receiver runs a slant route and makes the peculiar decision to jump behind mm -hmm. the in-cutting guy. Uh, the ball's going to fall That's harmlessly the incomplete. Yeah. That's ball one that uh, you you want to see Dante try to fight across face and worst case scenario, see if you can't draw an draw offense on or, draw you know, pass yeah. interference. Yeah. But you can't give inside position. That's that's your lu position. Lucky the Leopards didn't have an interception there and the Senators yeah. running the other way. Senators come to the line, still don't have enough wow. men on the field, running well, too I'll many men on the field. They're going to. Your buddy Escola may he may have some 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 things to say about that at some, halftime. Some you paint, think? paint might come off the wall. Twins right, <laughs> twins left. Tell back to the left side. Gaston looks back over for the play. They're down inside three seconds on the play clock. Inside one. Here's the snap. Well, he got a flag. They're going to call delay a game. Oh no, they're going to call false start. There's a flag on the play prior to the snap. False start. I was going to say it. I that thought, looked like a quick yeah, delay I, I, game. It looked to me like the. Uh, he had looked, looked to me like they got the play off in time. I mean, right at the. Yeah, it was right at it, but I, I'm like you, Ron. I do think it was off in time. That'll move the ball back inside the five yard line down to the four. Leopards now might want to bring some pressure, see if they can't make something happen. Yeah. Senator's most likely going to just run the ball, try to run this clock out with Malvern with no timeouts. Uh, I, and they still don't have enough men would, on the field. It, this is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. Now they, yeah. they had enough. They just don't know what they're doing. I, I think they're going deep. Yeah, he jumped. He jumped because he started to run off the field. I he can't do it. Robinson. Wow. They call a timeout, but I think the flag will still stand. We'll see what happens yep. after the break. We'll be back. Robinson leading 34-7, 15 seconds left in the half. Let MMB help your business keep progressing by offering you state-of-the-art technology. MMB is big enough to serve the needs of your business, but still make local decisions quickly for Central Arkansas. We offer mobile banking, remote deposit, and treasury management solutions. All of this from your local community bank, where you can still drop in and talk with someone when you want to see a friendly face. MNB, what a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. And we're back. David Alpey Field, Claude Mann Stadium. 15.6 left on the clock for the first half. Robinson leading 34-7 as they've been backed up again for another <laughs> false start. Yeah, this is uh, this is a non-typical. Uh, Robinson is and historically have been a whole lot more organized than this. I don't know. I don't know. If they're changing packages or what, but they're having some problems with their substitutions. Looks like they're going to bring in. Well, so they're, they're still changing people around. Pistol formation up back to the left side. Here's the snap give is to the tailback, looking for room to run. Find some up the middle. He's at the 15, the 20, and brought down by the Leopards, just shy of the 25-yard line. That will be Martell Nunley on the carry. Robinson 
does not have to run another play, but uh, if they we'll can see get, what they do. We can, first of all, let's see if they can get enough on here on the line of scrimmage. To They're going to go twins to each side. They, they need, do get the get snap it. off. Gaston looking to throw. He's going to be hit and dropped in the backfield by Isaiah Beard and East and West, and that will do it for the first half. Senators go in at halftime, leading the Leopards 34-7. to We'll be back after a few commercials. We welcome you back to David Alpe Field at Claude Mann Stadium as we get set to kick off the second half of Robinson versus Malvern. Ron McNamara with Seth Roberts. Seth uh, got his coat on and his hoodie on it. It's uh, I'm struggling. It's 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 uh, becoming nice, comfortable, cool fo football weather. Ah, uh, well, I, you know. You listen. You've got to stay well because you know I, I I just really I do. Nothing real well, and I do not do play-by-play. -play. Oh. <laughs> I, I feel okay. I just my back hurts, and I'm cold, and I'm not you normally cold, so I don't know. I, yeah, you're usually sitting up here in shorts and a t or a short sleeve shirt, when everybody else is bundled up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't really like it, but nevertheless, we're gonna keep fighting through it like the leopards are. And uh, if you're just joining us, Malvern is trailing Robinson 34 to seven at the half. We got Gibbs Kell set the ball up for the Senators. Looks like Dante Reed and uh, Keith Carradine back deep to receive for the Leopards. Another pooch kept this one in the middle, though, more to the, there we go. Reed fields it at the 29, looking wow. for room to run. Nice coverage, nice coverage down there by number three, the center, Ivan Thomas. Yeah, not, not a lot of room to run right there. Like Ron said, great coverage, only a gain of about three on that return. Leopards will start the first possession of the second half from the 32-yard line, first and 10. Well, we'll see uh, what adjustments the Leopards have made. Uh, and the main thing, it's, you know, it's <clears throat> so much can be said and said here. You hear it over and over and over the cliche, the first series of the second half. You know, that uh, can set the tone for a lot, of, a lot of things that good that can happen. Malvern having to run Bud Johnson on late. We got a man split out right up back and tied in to the left. Here's a snap fake to Bud Johnson, fake to Keith, rolling out. Simmons looking to throw. He's open. Got Nick Voss on an out route. He's got it. Looking to run across the 50 all the way and pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Nice job by Nick Voss. Yeah, Nick was doing a good job just – he was kind of loping out across there, and then he saw his quarterback going over further to the right, picked up some speed, and uh, Nick got a ball right there. Little, right, um, it was a little bit low. Nick did a good job going down and, and, and getting the ball and then staying in, in, uh, staying in stride. Nice catch, nice pickup for the Leopards. A little double play action there. Yeah. Split right, split left, tied in and up back to the left. Here's the snap. Give is the carrot. I'm looking to go left, trying to bounce it wide. Got a little bit of room. Finally hit and dropped around the 43-yard line. That'll be a pick of about five on first down. I was watching Malik Asher on that one. He was doing an outstanding job over here on this left side of slowing down the linebacker and not holding. I mean, that's, that's what you want your lineman to do, and, and that he was responsible for at least four of those yards he picked up. We got the... Tight triangle trips to the left, split right. Keith Carradine to the right of Simmons. Here's the snap, fake, no give. Yo, fake is to Carradine up the middle. Simmons looking to bounce it out wide. Not a lot of room there. He's gonna lose two yards. Nice pursuit there by the left side of the uh, center uh, defensive line and then also the corner. The corner came up. Well, excuse me, that was a safety. The safety was the corner's out on a, on a wide out, but the safety did a really good job of coming up and uh, plugging a hole. Brings up a third and seven for the Leopards here that uh, big down for us. Triangle trips left, split right. Caradon to the left to Simmons. Tried to get the Senators to jump off. No going. Now gets the play called. Simmons backs up. Makes one more late adjustment. Six on the play clock. Here's the snap. Give this to Caradine, looking He's to bounce it. it wide. He's going to oh. be brought down 
just short of the 40 yard line. Looks like about the 41. Gets positive yardage, but still gonna be a fourth down from Alvin. I sure thought he had the corner on that one. He just couldn't quite quite get the corner turned. And uh, Coach Plumley's got a decision here. Down uh, 34 to seven, fourth down and three. And uh, looks like the Leopards are gonna go for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, if you're playing to win, I don't think there is much of a decision. You're no, past the no. 50, you got to go for this. Yeah. Got split left, split right, tight in and up back on the left side. Bud Johnson to the left of Simmons. Leopards try to get the Senators to jump, nothing going. Moves, Three seconds. Moves gotta Malachi snap it. in a little bit. Here's the snap. Simmons looking to throw. There Screen it is. Pass Screen to pass. Malachi Asher. Asher. He's fighting, and he's going to come up. That depends on the spot. Pretty, oh, wow. Pretty bad spot. What a I, terrible spot by the side judge. I don't think he would have got there anyway, but he Golly. definitely probably gained about another half yard yeah. to yard there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like we nice, said, not, it, was a, it was a good play, good good call, but just it was. couldn't he, quite get loose. Asher had one man to beat, just yep. unable to do so. And, you know, like we said, these refs are – trying to move and get in position, doing the best they can, and sometimes you just don't get the favorable call. I have no problem with the referees tonight. Triangle trips to the left. Here is a snap give is to the tailback, looking for room up to the left, cuts up, fighting for extra yardage. He's down to about the 46-yard line there for Robinson. That's going to be a pickup of six, bring up second and four. Number six, Hunter Smith on the carry. Hunter Smith was on the carry. On the tackle for Mallory. Robinson stays in that triangle trip, split right. Here's the snap, fakes the give to the tailback, looking at oh, the screen, misty. nothing there. Now quarterback's going to tuck it and just get out of bounds. That is a new quarterback. I believe that is Towers playing is Towers? quarterback Towers now. Towers on the keeper. Yeah. Looks like he's going to pick up a couple. He's going out of bounds at the 48-yard line, brings up third down. Going to be third and a three. Yeah, it's called it a long three. Got twins right, split left, up back off the right side, pistol formation. Towers calls for the snap. Right, they, hand him, they got the him. They got and him. The leopards are all over all it. All over that one, actually. They bring him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Now Robinson has a decision. Robinson, to make. yeah, Robinson got away. The kid just walked off. He got boy. I mean, they got away with an offensive hold out there on on our right side. Uh, I mean, it was looked like a WWF takedown on our corner. I was about to say our dollar down over there says third down. Pretty sure it's fourth. It's fourth down, fourth and three. We're going to call it. And the senator's going to go for it. Twins right, split left, up back off the right side. Tailback flanking the right of Towers. Here's the snap. Towers going to take it himself, looking for room to run. He and didn't he is get hit, it. And he is His. driven backwards. Not no only going. that, not only was he stopped, he was uh, stopped for a loss. Great, great stand by the Leopards. Like I said, these kids don't know what the word quit is. I mean, it, it's really, really good to see. And that was, you'll see on Wednesday night, that was just tremendous team pursuit. Yeah. Almost every black jersey was going to drive him back there. Melbourne so, will take over on downs. They'll start from their uh, Robinson 46, first and 10. Coach Plumley. Shouting out, good job, defense. Yes, he Proud is. of his guys. Send said out, said Simmons out to start this offensive possession. Twins right, split left. Asher up back off the left side. Here's a oh, snap, no. fumbled ball. Simmons picks it up, looking for room, nothing there. He is hit and driven backwards. Would like to see a little bit quicker whistle so he's not spiked down to the ground right there. But it will be a big loss on first down for the Leopards. I couldn't see exactly what happened, uh, whether he. My guess is he took the, took his eye off the ball or it was a quick snap. I, I, I don't know which one it was for sure, but uh, tough break for the Leopard. Brings up, uh, golly, almost second first 18. and 18. Second. Second 18. Braxton Allen in at quarterback. Twins right, split left. Asher up back off the right side. Got Caradine to his left, I think. Could be Bud Johnson. Is Caradine. Got Braxton time. looking to run, throwing to Christian Warren. Got room and... Don't think he was expecting that ball to get through. No. Warren had a chance had, to yeah. bring that in and wow. just didn't have his hands ready to make that catch. Ball was there. Wow. 
Can't, can't give up on it. You can't ever trust 18. that they're going to hit it. You got yeah, to play, <laughs> play like it's not going to happen. I saw one of the coaches show him right there, holding his hand up, you watch the ball in. <clears throat> that was down almost in first, first and ten territory too, Seth. Trips right, split left. Here they come. Braxton Allen looking to throw. He loses the ball. And it will be dove on by the Leopards. That's going to bring up fourth in an absolute mile. Yeah, it looked like that one just when he went back, lost uh, lost control or possession of the ball and uh, went back behind him. Yeah, just slipped right out of his hand whenever he went to make the throw. On the play, by Perry Allen we got Dallas Lewis on for the punt. And when Dallas has been able to get the ball off, Seth, he has turned the field over every time he's had, had, had a chance, opportunity to punt, which he's had a few opportunities. Here is the snap. Good snap. Lewis looking to kick. Low kick, spiraling down. It's, it's off, fumble. muffed. Robinson able to dive on it just across the 40. Looks like about the 43-yard line. Leopards just a little bit short of having a chance to get the ball back there. Leopard's got to stop on that on the first possession in the second half by the Senators and uh, get another stop here. We're 6:23 uh, to, left here in the third quarter. Leopard's trailing this one 34 to seven. Both teams have been uh, haven't had a whole lot of success on their both possessions here in the first half. No, second half. I'm sorry. Slow start. Twins slow. right, twins left. Tailback to the right of Towers or Gas. Looks like Gaston. Oh. Here's the quick pop screen out. Looking for room to run. He crosses the 50 down to the 51 yard line. He will be brought down there by Treshawn Mormon. Pickup of nine is going to be, I believe him second and a short yard looks like. Treshawn Mormon on the Well, they moved it back. They're going to call it a yard and a half. Second and. Yeah. PJ Hall is on the reception. Yeah. Twins right split. Well, no, twins left as well. Uh, tailback split. Brand in motion. Here's the snap. Gaston, a little quick tight end flare out, looking for room to run up the middle. He's at the 40, the yeah. 35, the 30. Desperately trying to hang on, makes a man miss, and finally brought down around the 10 yard line. We do have a flag. Yeah, I believe. Uh, yeah, number nine for the Senators. That's uh, Dalton Tyler. Da yeah, Daylon Tyler. I believe they're going to catch, get him for holding. And he knew it, and he was, <laughs> he, he was not happy with himself. And the sad thing about it, it was behind the play. Yeah, I believe they called blocking the back, Ron. Is that what they called in it? Okay. He might have been holding <clears throat> and shoved him in the back. Who knows? Regardless, solid for the Leopards. Going to move Robinson back, limits the gain of what would have been an absolutely huge gain back into the red zone, now pushes him back out. It is a spot foul, so it's being marked off from the 16-yard line. Robinson. Yeah, they called it out. All the way back to the 26-yard line. There's <clears throat> a visual representation of how I it feel being held out on Robinson's sideline right now. <laughs> we got to <laughs> I'm going to wrap you up in an electric blanket or something, keep you well for another quarter and a Twins five right. minutes. <laughs> Split left, two backs to each side of Gaston, or one back to each side of Gaston. Yeah. Going to be a false start. False start again, yeah. Move Robinson back as well. And then, like you said, Ron, they, this They've is, been doing that. They've been doing that all night. They call about one out of every seven or eight, don't they, Seth? This has got to be a point of emphasis for Coach Skull and his team as they look <laughs> at the film is just how many penalties they've had tonight. You cannot think, be happy with that. You think your buddy will uh, have an inter interesting film session with him? Yeah, yeah. you just can't be happy with that many false starts. No. That and alignments and getting people on the, on the field. Twins right, split left, back to each side. Gaston fakes the give, looks to throw. Wow. And hits They're the tail back out of the backfield. Got room yeah. to run. He's to the 15. Spins away from man to the 10. Still spinning, looking for extra room. Finally driven back. And dropped around the seven-yard line. Well, to kind of tell you what that is, <laughs> it's not a true wheel route, but it is. It's basically an inside. I'd it's call the it idea in, of an it. In, it's an inside wheel route where they run everybody off, keep the back out, then run him out in that uh, out, out to the left in a wide open field because they run the linebackers and the corners off. Yep. Yep. This is not nicely designed play. 
find the adjustment there. Use your safety to cover the receiver, leave the linebacker yep. in. Trips left, uh, twins right, empty backfield for Gaston. Looking to throw now, rolling to the right. Yeah, Looks like he's going to take off and run, and yeah. he will run it into the end zone. 434 Ready left in the third the quarter. The he's going to extend the Robinson lead to 40 to 7. Robinson has a decision to make. They can kick the extra point and be one point short of the mercy rule, or they can keep the offense out and try to go ahead and hit it. My guess is the offense is staying out. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have twins right, twins. No, trips uh, right, twins left. Empty backfield for Gaston again. Here's the snap. Gaston looking to throw a quick out. Nicely played Nicely there. Nicely played. By, I believe, Dalen Ross. Is Perfectly that Ross? timed yeah. that up and just knocks that ball away. Nice play by Dalen Ross. Well, with four or with three, four, uh, 434 left in the third quarter. Robinson leads Malvern 40 to seven. We'll be back. We're not flashy, not loud, not overexposed. What Western Sizzlin offers is the best family dining value in town, period. Steaks, chicken, and fish, and the largest salad, food, and dessert bar for miles around. All priced for a family budget. This is what we've been and always will be and we're very proud of it. Come eat with us at your hometown, Western Sizzlin' in Arkansas. We welcome you back to David Alpey Field, Claude Mann Stadium. Leopards trailing the Senators 40 to seven, 434 left in the third quarter as Leopards are able to stave off the mercy rule hmm. attempt by Robinson. Yeah, that was kind of an un unfortunate situation. We got them into a fourth down and uh, fourth and three, I think, and fourth and four, and they converted it, and then, uh, then they were able to go go on in and score. The, it's just a matter of inches. Uh, like I say, <clears throat> maybe the score doesn't show it, but if you're not seeing these kids in, in person and watching this, the, you know, they have not given up. I mean, they're still they're they're still running. Gives Kale sky oh. kick. It will be fair caught around the 31 yard line. Can't see exactly who. I think it is Malik Relliford. Malik yeah. Relliford. Yeah. Fair catch is for him out. <clears throat> Sorry, Ron. Didn't mean to cut you off. That's okay. I had to cough anyway. So. <laughs> there you go. Leopards take over from the 31 yard line, trailing 40 to seven, four minutes and 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Yeah. See which quarterback comes out this time. It will be Simmons. Simmons again, yeah. But well, Johnson runs out late. Looks like we got twins left, split right. Tied in on the left, Johnson to the left of Simmons. Bringing Dallas Lewis in motion, oh. snap is to, or toss to Dallas Lewis, mishandles the pitch, but able to pick it back up, get it to the 29-yard line. Should be an incomplete pass because it was a forward pass. Yeah. But uh, we'll see what I happens. I couldn't see. That's a pass now. That's, yeah. It's not a pitch because it's forward. It's an incomplete pass. Yeah. A forward pitch is a pass. Yeah. A forward pitch is a pass. Well, that's another. Uh, I guess He's, the play, play's Coach, going Coach to Plumley is bewildered and not, yeah. so am I. Yeah. A forward pitch is a pass. One second left on the play clock. It goes to zero. There's so much confusion out here right now. Now the ref is saying extend it, but. Again, I, I think we need to have an official's timeout and talk about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, yeah, the refs, he's cranked. He, uh, he's not going to change it, but. Uh, <clears throat> well, just so you know, that's a forward pass. Should yeah. be incomplete, second and 10. Regardless, second and 12. 3.30 left, clock running. Simmons looking to throw Will route to Bud Johnson out of the outfield. He's rearing back. Got it. an absolutely fantastic That's catch it. down the sideline. Falls about the 38-yard line and KJ Weather. The flag. Yeah, it was a flag. K.J. Merriweather for the Senators was all over him. And uh, 
Flag on the play. Was that Bud? Bud Johnson. Yeah, right Bud out of the really, outside. really did a good job fighting through the uh, obvious pass interference and uh, kept his eye on the ball and nice big gain. Got the Leopards out of a hole. Really tough catch there. You're running in full speed, trying to lean back, look over your shoulder. <laughs> Nicely done to not only catch it, but keep you know, feet in on the sideline. You know, and this is something you see. These are the benefits of playing a lot of seven on seven. Throwing the ball around, catching the ball, throwing the ball, catching the ball, throwing the ball, catching the ball. First and 10. Leopards come to the line first and 10 from the 43. We got twins right split left. Here's the snap give. No, fakes the give. It's going to be Simmons looking for room. Not a lot there. He's going to fight forward back close to the line of scrimmage. May have got there. I think it's going to be. That's K.J. Merriweather again on the, ta on the tackle. It just got called for the uh, interference. But uh, Merriweather did a really good job of just staying home watching these lanes. <clears throat> Leopards kind of go to a heavy set here. Got a tight end and up back off the left. Split wide is Dallas. Another man split out to the right. Give his to Caradine off the left side. Looking for room. Not a lot there. He's going to be dropped close to the line of scrimmage as well. That's going to bring up third and ten. He's brought down by Will Dirty. Two minutes and 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Leopards trailing this one uh, 40 to 7. Long third and third and let's just call it third and 11. Yeah. Setting on the 43 yard line of the uh, Senators. Are we, in, if we get anything at all, we're in four down territory, aren't we Seth? Ah, uh, you gotta be, gotta be. Same formation up back off the left side. Simmons looking to throw. There's, uh, there's we, a screen. Well, I gotta tell you, we got a lineman so far down, down the field. field. It's not well, even yes. funny. Yes, we did. Uh, uncalled though, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he, I thought he was in the pass, <laughs> in the pass pattern. Well, I kept thinking, man, that guy's wide open. Then I realized, wait a minute, that's a lineman. That's a lineman. <clears throat> yes, it's a screen pass, but you can't be that far. They'll give you a little leaning. They'll give you a little bit of room, but uh, don't yell at me. Twins right, split left. Simmons has. Um, Bud to his left. Simmons looking to throw. There steps up in the pocket. Going to throw deep. Got him. Man. Almost. Just barely almost intercepted by the uh, Robinson Senators. Yeah. And then uh, nice yeah. job not giving it up by the Leopard receiver to try to fight back for it. Yeah, he was he was open for a little bit. And it just, uh, by the time by the time the ball got there, the safety got there also. And it was... Uh, he didn't throw in the double coverage, but it was double coverage by the time the ball got there. How's that? that? That's kind of the way it worked out, isn't it, Seth? Little cover two, safety yeah, coming cover over two, the top. Yeah, cover two. Center just take over first <laughs> and 10 from the 42-yard line, leading the Leopards 40 to 7, 45 seconds left in the third quarter, and clock is running. In a fast-moving third quarter. Leopards make a few defensive subs. Robinson comes to the line. Twins right, split left, up back to the left. Pistol formation. Here's the snap. Give us to the tailback looking for room up the middle. He's hit after a gain of two or three and driven back there. New quarterback looks like Jack Cleveland yeah. for the Senators. I believe the Leopards have put uh, Zane Stuckey out here on the on a corner. Look at some of these other... Uh, Chase McAllister, yeah. Alan Alvarez, uh, probably Ethan Martin. Ethan Martin, yeah. That will, that will be the end of the third quarter with Robinson leading 40-7. to seven. We will be back after these messages. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. We're back for the start of the fourth quarter. Robinson leading the Leopards 40 to seven. Seth Roberts joined by Ron McNamara. You know, in the third quarter, I mean, it was, it was a seven nothing 
quarter in their favor. So, I mean, yeah. it's, well, you know, it's just six. It's, what I'm telling you is the Leopards have just hung in. I mean, it, you know, that, they're not, they haven't folded their tent. Robinson missing somebody out of the uh, quarter, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Again, got to be frustrated. Uh, well, they're going to probably look. have to waste a timeout. No, here comes a the man. There he comes. Nine seconds left on the play clock. They got twins right, split left, up back off the right He's side. Up. Up. They got to yeah, call timeout. There is the timeout. Yeah. And we'll take it with them. You think Coach Skoll is going to have a word with them? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Welcome you back to David Alpe Field, Claude Mann Stadium. Robinson leading 40 to seven. They got twins right, split left. Up back off the right side. Pistol formation, Cleveland calls for the snap. Give us to the tailback up the middle, looking for room, dragging a leopard mm -hmm. defender. Finally brought down around the 48 yard line. That'll bring up a third down there for Robinson. Was that Bowman, Cedric Bowman on the – No. Edgar Guerrero. Edgar Guerrero. Okay. I guess I, <clears throat> these old eyes are having a little problem picking up those red – those orange numbers on those black uniforms. You got that Boomer Sooner on your mind. I tell you. Got to love my Sooners. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap gives the tailback. Wow, that's been – room up the middle of the field. He's Gosh. got it. He's still dragging Leopards all the way across the 40. Down to about the 41 and a half yard line. That'll be a first down for Robinson. Clock continues to move. 10:48 you know, and counting. The Robinson coaches obviously have found something in that center of that line that they that they have found out that, that they can exploit. And it's one of those we're going to run it until you stop it. Yeah. Got twins right, split left. Up back to the right, tailback to the left of Cleveland. Here's the snap. Give us the tailback looking for room to the outside of the right. He's got some down to 30, spins off of a man, tries to stay up but can't. Down to about the 28-yard line. Once again with the that will be another first down for Robinson. Looks like it will be 27-yard line. First and 10. First and 10 from there, oh. twins right, split left, up back off the left side, pistol-like formation, Cleveland at quarterback. Here is the snap. Cleveland gives up the middle, got a lot of room to run. He's at the 20, the 15, the 10, makes a guy miss, makes another miss, carrying a man all the way down and into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah. Robinson gonna extend their lead to 46-7. Nine thirty-nine and counting left in the game. Yeah. yeah. I believe that starts the mercy clock, doesn't it? I'm not sure the mercy clock hadn't started already. Already, might have. Yeah. By rule, I don't think it was supposed to. But nevertheless. Well, <clears throat> just looking, and uh, we're seeing a lot of new bodies, and I can tell by size of uh, the Robinson. Senators have put put out there in, in the closing minutes of this ball game, and uh, I can understand why they're ranked this high. Twins right, split left. Quarterback just going to take a knee on the two-point conversion. I guess we'll call that a show of sportsmanship. Yeah. Robinson leads 46 to 7. Moving clock. We'll be back after this. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Till provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Till Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Till Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Till Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. We welcome you back to David Alpe Field, Claude Mann Stadium. If you're just joining us, Robinson Senators lead the Leopards 46 to seven. Clock winding at eight minutes, going down left in the ball game. I'm not trying to get ahead of things, but uh, the Leopards will go to Fountain Lake next week. And it's, it's gonna be a really a big game for the Leopards, Seth, because uh, another conference win does this team a lot of good well, down the road. Theoretically, a win would 
secure a playoff well, spot. Yeah. And, you know, if you can go from 0-10 to the playoffs, you, yeah. you're you going to take that any and every day and, you know, tremendously proud of this team. And hopefully we got to reload and fight again next week. Sky kick down the left side. Fair catch around the 29-yard line. He fair caught it, but there's no call. So he's going to be dropped. Referee didn't see the fair catch. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's set up to get somebody hurt. And I think, granted, it wasn't a very high. He yeah, kind of went around low. Yeah, but. and 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 the Robinson kid. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm, I'm the Robinson kids held up though too because I don't think they knew for sure. So that wasn't like somebody come down through there. There are those will come down through there like a headhunter and just you know. Yeah. Six fifty three and counting. Well, we got a bunch of new senators out there. Uh, you know how I can, t I can tell by the size. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> Leopards come out. They got twins right, split left. Lane Scarborough will be the up back off the left side. I think it's Bud Johnson to the right of Braxton Allen. Here's the snap. Allen looking to throw a quick screen pass out to Dante Reed, and he is flipped over around the 35-yard line. He's upended after what looks like uh, a long three and a half, a short four. Yeah, nice play there by the Robinson uh, D-back go down low. And you never like to see a player flip over, but Dante's up and all right. And uh, four yard gain on first down. Twins left, split right. Scarborough the up back on the right side. Bud still to the right of Allen. Here's the snap, give is to Bud. He's looking for room to run up the middle. Not a lot there. He's going to be hit and dropped, maybe a gain of one. That's going to bring up third and about five. Four, yeah, maybe. let's call it a long four. Third down. Like to see the Leopards get, go ahead, get a third down, get convert the third, get a first and 10, keep this clock going. Keep moving the other direction. Allen calls to the snap, screen pass out to Seth Stewart. He's got it, and he is brought down just across the 40-yard line. Bends on the spot. Down to about the 41-yard line. Oh, no. Oh, it looks more like the 40, I guess. Yeah, I get go. Oh, wow. Must have went out of bounds before Must we have. could see him. Must have. <clears throat> Coaches are, right there. They, coaches are out there, and they're, they're not they're not complaining, so I'm assuming. Twins right, split left, Scarborough off the left. Here's the give right oh. up the middle. Not a lot of running room there, but fighting for extra yardage, and he I pushes. Believe, I believe. He pushes hard enough to pick up that first yes, down. Yes, they did. They've already moved the, <laughs> they moved the chains already. That was a <clears throat> new tailback. Can't really – see the number i can't either good i'm glad <laughs> i thought it was just me seth well it's kind of scrunched up but yeah. good hard run there picked up the first down twins right split left here's the snap give is to the tailback get through Got there some room he's get at the 50 there. the 45 oh, and finally brought down by his shoelaces around the 47 yard line and it looks like that's going to be javen childs is that childs javen childs on the carry from out yeah nice run there by childs Twins right, split left, Scarborough the up back on the right side. Childs will be on the left of Allen. Here's the snap, give his to me. Childs, looking for room to the outside on the right. Not a lot there, oh, he is tattooed out of bounds. Gonna be a gain of four there. Ball down to the 39 yard line, gonna be second and six. 339 and counting left in the game. Childs gets some playing time here. He's just another one of those juniors. We'll have him back next year. Jadarius Harris comes in to spell Childs. Twins right, split left. Scarborough on the up back. Here's the give to Harris. Trying to get to the outside. Makes a nice little nice hesitation. Move. Nice hesitation. Going to get close to the first down. Nice run by Jadarius Harris. On the carry for the leopard. They're going to call it a first down. Keep the chains moving. Three minutes left in the game. Twins right, split left. Scarborough the up back on the right side. Harris to the left of Allen. Here's the snap. Give yeah. this to Harris. He's looking for room around the right side again. Levels his shoulders and barrels over a guy for what looks to be about a gain of 
a yard. Yeah, he took uh, took on Devin White for the Senators, and uh, I guess he won it because he made positive yards. He did make positive yards. Yeah. We'll give him that. Twins right, split left. Scarborough the up back on the left side. Harris to the left of Allen. Here's the snap. Give is to Harris looking for room up the middle. Not a lot there. Fighting for extra yardage. He's going to get the ball out to about the 30-yard line. That's going to bring up third and seven. They keep <laughs> they keep crowding these safeties up, these safeties up. And it's, boy, I tell you what, they're baiting us to go deep on them. You know what? Well, we'll see if we do. We got twins right, split left. Robinson going to have to take a timeout as they couldn't get a guy off the field. We'll take it with them. <laughs> we'll be back after this. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Garrett, and I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! We welcome you back to David Alpey Field, Claude Man Stadium. Braxton Allen fakes the give, looking to run. Not a lot there. He's going to lose yardage back to about the original line of scrimmage. That's going to bring up a fourth and ten. That had to be a, that had to be a, a run all the way because our we had we had no separation or whatever from our wide receivers. I don't know what what that was. Trying to sneak Braxton out when nobody was expecting so. it. I think so. We got twins right, split left. 121 left in this ball game. Scarborough to the right. We got, I believe it's Harris to the left of Allen. Allen there looking to throw fade route to the outside. It's got there. a man, goes up, makes it's a there. great it's there. catch. Oh, it, oh never mind. They're they going to call interception. Wow. Must have ripped it out of his hands. Wow. Looked like joint possession there I by, did too. by Ethan Martin, but it must have been a nice job by the senator there of ripping out of his hands and uh, all but sealing this ball game run. <laughs> all but ceiling it with 49 set. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put this uh, this one over in the in the loss column. And uh, I tell you what, we talked about a little bit off air, and I'll say it right now. The nice thing, if, if we've got anything positive out of it, we played a big, big physical team, and uh, we don't have we don't have any wounded leopards, and that's big going in halfway, going into the second half of the of the conference play, keeping everybody healthy. Robinson takes a knee, and you're absolutely right. And you got to be happy with them, some of the things the Leopards did tonight. Yeah. Obviously, not happy with the the turnovers that led to more points by the Senators, but they were right there for most of the yes, first they half, were. battling out. Yeah. And, uh, you got to be happy with the effort, not happy with the result, obviously, but happy with the effort. And these guys, they got to bounce back quick because we got a huge matchup with Fountain Lake next week. There was a lot of positives here, and, and the, the thing I, I, I take away from it on a positive note is this. We, we come out of it without anybody getting hurt, and we've got some things we can look at, we can look, some things we did well, and some things we need to work on. Yeah, and absolutely, and you just got to go in, correct the mistakes, build off the positives, um, and realize that, you know, it, tomorrow's a new day, and, uh, you know, this one can sting all night tonight, but... Uh, when that clock hits midnight, it's a huge week with playoff implications at Fountain Lake. So we got to reset, forget about this one, and uh, get ready to bring our A game when we travel to Fountain Lake next week. And we would love for everyone to travel with us to Fountain Lake. If you're not able to, then obviously we would love to have you tune in and listen to our broadcast and support these guys. I want to thank you. I've enjoyed it. It's been fun being that back up here and uh, knocking the, the, the rust off a little bit. Uh, very, I'm impressed with these leopards. I'm impressed with the coaching staff and everything they're doing. And uh, once again, as they go over and line up in front of the student section and the band and the fans, just thank them for their support. And we thank the legend Ron McNamara for joining <laughs> us tonight. And we, we don't have to ask the question where he is because he's right here. Right here. <laughs> we hope to see you next week. If not, please listen in, support these guys. They work so hard to represent your community.